Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Volcker Report. This end of day report is for trading on August the 5th, 2016, Friday. And you can see the Dow futures uh, finished up but failed to take out the prior high, just flattening out here in this trading range, which is pretty, pretty interesting because the other indices that you're about to see did something totally different. All right, with the exception of the Dow, everything else has six weeks of straight up gains and new highs. Look at the E-mini S&P 500. Straight up, no pullback in sight, just straight up gains for six weeks straight. And I think the market's pricing in a Hillary victory because as I indicated in the video series link description at the bottom of this video there is no collapse I believe that all this is being done to put Hillary in office because that's the last hope for the US and if you remember back in the 90s those of you who were alive or grown and re realized what was going on you had the go-go 90s where um, Bill Clinton and Alan Greenspan surely the markets to un unbelievable levels of prosperity never before seen and I believe that they're gonna try to do that again just like they can print money out of thin air they can also create jobs and industry out of thin air and for those of you who doubt that let's look back no further to Enron Enron was a multi-billion dollar industry a company that was built on nothing no earnings whatsoever just manufactured pretend earnings sort of like how we manufacture and pretend with our jobs reports <laughs> so that's what it was and then it collapsed so that's what I see going on right now uh, they need the Clintons back in office in Greenspan that's why they've been bringing him back on on um, uh, Bloomberg he, you know, he, he's been known to spend all day there <laughs> lately. He's always there, um, and you know they're they're trying to cheerlead this thing on as long as they can keep it going until they're ready to to uh, turn off the machine, so to speak, and roll out the new uh, electronic control grid. Uh, and that's what's going on now. So for those of you who have not checked out the um, the video series, there is no collapse. Do yourself a favor and do that. The video description and the link is below this video. All right, moving on. All right, looking at the um, at the SPY, same thing, hitting new highs. Markets way down here with the support at 203.47. Just no end in sight. The market's bullish. What can you say? Uh, I anticipate new highs for the next several weeks. I think we can. Let's see, if we can go for 12 weeks instead of six. Hey, I don't see why not. All right, looking at the NASDAQ uh, futures, same thing. Look at this. Market went from the 41 handle all the way up to the 47 handle in just six weeks. What do you say about that? That's an average of 100 points per week. Uh, no end in sight, guys. Market's well supported down here at 42.66. All right, looking at the uh, QQQ, same thing. Uh, busting out a 118.78 high. Well supported, way down at 104, just straight up gains six weeks straight what can you say about that um, you know rallying from the $100 10175 level to 118 that's just supernatural you know this is this is looking like the 90s all over again all right the uh, the Nikkei is the only exception here the Nikkei you know it it stopped you know the downtrend it's still in a um, in a negative pulse wave scenario, but it, it managed to stop selling and, and bounce on Take Back Friday. Still in a downtrend channel, though, so uh, the Nikkei is showing a different picture. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe it's going to catch, play catch up and end up going from here to 19,000. Uh, 19, I don't know. We'll see what's up, but this one's the one to keep an eye on because right now overhead resistance is at 17,120. If they can bust that out, it's going to bump its head to the bottom of the Kumo cloud around 18 before it may fall down again I don't know is 18 going to be the new support for the Nikkei so within the next five to six weeks is the Nikkei going to rally for the next five to six weeks and make 18,000 its new support on the way to 20 that's a question we'll have to wait and see all right uh, let's see finishing up now with uh, crude oil you can see here it's the same situation 
Um, it bounced back to 42 after dropping all the way down. Um, you know, this is this, these are the, are the things I've been, you know, telling you about. You know, when you're in this Kumo cloud, anything can happen. You know, prices reverse quickly. It got down to $39.25 only to come back to 42 on <laughs> That's quite a turnaround, but it's in a negative pulse wave still. So it, anything can happen. It could, you know, stick its head out of the Kumo cloud only to crash below it next week. So coming off of an oversold situation, uh, crude oil is still bearish at this point until otherwise. It has a long way to go to get back to 50 to prove itself if it's going to put an end to this downtrend. Looking at OIH, same thing. It's inside the Kumo cloud of death and it's just flat. Look at this trading range. $30.78 is still hanging over its head as uh, resistance. Can it break through and get to 35 I, I don't know. You know, crude oil right now is, is, is showing bearishness. It's showing that this right here wants to get sold. So. You know, barring that, we're in a negative pulse wave, and we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all we got for time for now. So everyone have a wonderful weekend. Remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can and give nothing back.